guys, it's Dr. Ward, this one, Cabin Car back again. Today, you actually see me in my actual length. I don't have any of my heels or shoes that I use to adjust patients. But the reason is because this week we're talking about hip pain. So I want to show you and stress you can do for that hip pain, especially on those people that even doing a normal squat is extremely hard because they can't even bend due to that tightness on those hip flexors, okay? So the first thing you're going to do, we're using a, a resistant band. This is actually a pretty light resistant band. For this stretch, you want to use one that is extremely tight because you want to create that resistance and be challenging for it, okay? So we're going to say that this is going to be my asymptomatic leg. So I'm going to place the band behind my thigh like this, and we're going to put this not prone leg in a 90 degrees position like this, almost doing like a, like a long kneeling lunge, okay? The first thing you're going to do, you're going to technically go back and forward, back and forward, back and forward, okay? So what you want to do with this, you're going to start doing simple 10 reps to start building up that stretching in that area. The reason the band has to be a little bit more strong is because, like I said, you want to challenge that muscle in order to not be able to be pulled or pushed more towards the that wall back and when you do this position you always want to be sure that you keep your glutes pretty tight and really really good posture so you can actually maintain really good balance when you do this movement that's a step one once you actually feel comfortable we're going to move to step two step two you're actually going to be into a lunge so same same thing you're going to put the band behind your thigh but this time you're actually going to be into a lunge so you're going to be more into an actual lunge here and then for this one you're going to use that leg that you have the problem you're going to push your knee down to the floor so you're going to go down and up down and up down and up and the same thing you want to do this 10 times increase the reps the more comfortable you feel and the more comfortable you feel then you can actually increase more resistance and use all the type of extra stretches but start off with this one and let me see what you think of and if you do want to know more strategies on how to actually address your head just give us a call bye